everyone in today's video i'll show you an easy way to fix a mobile device that fell into water so as you can see this device in our front fell into water so the first thing to do is to dismantle the mobile device so if you're new to this channel this is the great phone repairs make sure you subscribe you turn on the notification bell give this video a thumbs up if this video is helpful to help with the youtube algorithm let's open the mobile device that is the first step so remove the sim slots carefully bring the sim slot out due to water is a good conductor it's um make the phone to keep restarting so automatically the power button is pressing by itself that is the water is like a conductor there so we are going to be servicing the motherboard that is the logic board so in order to service the logic board you need to dismantle the mobile device that is you need to unscrew all the screws and uncouple the mobile device so carefully watch how to dismantle a mobile device so unscrew all the necessary screws holding it so next get your tweezer pick everything out then unclip the fingerprint bring out the back cover holding it unclip the battery unclip all the flex you can use your tweezer to do that you can also use your nails if you don't have this equipment use your fingernails to pop the flex up once that is done unscrew the sub board unscrew all the screws holding the sub board then pop out unclip the clip connecting to the sub board unclip the network antenna bring out the mo the sub board now carefully detach the logic board that is just step two carefully detach the logic board from the phone casing check what is obstructing it um from a device here what is obstructing it is a gum so carefully detach it so once it's out detach the front camera once you've done that you keep the camera in a clean environment so that the lens won't get blur so get your tweezer or you can also use your nails to bring out the camera clip that is your nails once that is done you will move to the next step get an alcohol there is an ethanol or you can call it fuel so get a brush carefully clean all the flex by soaking the brush into the fuel or the ethanol the reason why we are cleaning the flex is water and ethanol they don't mix they are immiscible um substances so what the ethanol will do it will help isolate the water from the clip or the affected area where the water touches so that is what the ethanol will do so use an ethanol or spirit to service the motherboard so this process is called servicing so carefully clean all the clips so this is how it's done bring out the sub board isolate the main phone then we are going to be servicing the board note while cleaning the sub board remember not to allow the chemical that is the ethanol to enter the mouthpiece this is the mouthpiece so this is the receiver hole for the mouthpiece don't allow ethanol 
to go through it so look for a way to close the mouthpiece while servicing sometimes ethanol cause a big damage to the mouthpiece so clean it carefully that is the, the clip As you can see, I use my nails to cover the receiver hole. That is my thumb. I use it to cover the receiver hole, then I keep servicing it. So, this process that is called servicing, so it helps to remove the liquid from the motherboard. So, use a pin to clean the charging port very well. So, this is it. So, once you have successfully serviced the sub board, Get the main PCB board, this is the logic board, and do this repeat the same process here. But in this method, you, you need a syringe. The essence of this syringe is to make sure the chemical go through the uh, motherboard very well. So use the chemical that is the ethanol and the syringe. As you can see, I'm putting it into that hole to push it, press it in. So that the chemical will circulate evenly to the motherboard. So what this chemical does, that the ethanol, it will help to remove the liquid from the motherboard. Now, second step, you turn the other side and repeat the same process. Now this is the time you service the motherboard, so get your brush. Now remove the excess liquid or the excess ethanol. Now get your brush, clean it very well. These are the clip, I'm cleaning them. So brush out the clip, brush all the clips and the flex carefully don't brush so vigorously brush gently so this is the fingerprint sensor brush the clip also Now these are the camera clip. Again, be careful. Don't brush the. Don't allow chemical to touch the lens of the camera, because um, chemical will make it blur. You understand? Don't allow the ethanol to go to the um, the camera lens. Understand? So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you are being confused, and I will reply immediately. I see your message. So brush those clip. Once that is done, this is the rear camera, the front camera. So once you have successfully brushed everything, now the next step is to hit the logic board. So you can do that if you don't have a rework station like this. This is a rework station. This is what we use in hitting the logic board. So if you don't have a rework station like this, um, you can on the motherboard after you have successfully um services so this process hitting the logic board help to reactivate some dead components on the mobile device maybe the components are weak due to water that um enter the logic board so hitting it will help to reactivate it and also dry up 
the remaining water on the logic board so make sure you heat it very well and don't heat the motherboard too much let your air be at maximum and the heat at least the heat temperature should be at 20 degrees celsius so once you have successfully heat the motherboard also heat the, the clips just heat them little don't heat them so much use your picker due to the heat mm, that is we call you can call that stuff i'm holding picker or tweezer so step five reassemble the mobile device so first of all we'll be reassembling our camera This is the rear camera. I mean, this is the front camera. So, make sure when removing your cameras, make sure you identify, if possible, snap them before removing them. If you are not familiar with disassembling or uncoupling mobile device, keep track of where you remove each camera so that to enable you when you are coupling it back to know where you remove each and every one of them. Now the camera are installed, clip back the network antenna, that is the next thing you are going to be doing. So this is our network antenna, clip it to the slot, that is the clip, so carefully clip it, so it's been clipped. Now place the main board on its compartment, that is it, so put it, assemble it back to the mobile device. So this is our network antenna make sure it's well aligned now install the sub board and connect the flex so this is a sub board the sub board consists of the mouthpiece the charging port the um, vibrator terminal the speaker terminal and the network terminals so so the network antenna is communicating from the main board to the sub board so make sure everything is well clip clip back or the flex this is the flex that is communicating to the sub board and this is our screen flex this is the screen flex so clip them to the logic board make sure it's well clipped once that is done the last thing you're going to be clipping is your battery Now start assembling it. Screw the remaining screws. But before screwing it, um, connect. That is the screw beneath the fingerprint. So once you have done that, you have screwed it successfully. Screwed it. You can now clip the fingerprint back to the to the board. So this is our fingerprint. This is where it's being clipped and this is the clip so it's going to be clipping there so clip it you can just push it a little bit now it's clipped so the next step let's switch it on to see if it's come on as you can see it's on so let's see if it reboots completely so as you can see it's not rebooting 
so but if the mobile device keeps rebooting after you have successfully serviced it what you do you just replace your power flex so now the mobile device is working as you can see it's working and the touchpad are working so make sure you service the mobile device or this logic board anytime your phone gets into water because the bad effect is that once you leave it for a long time rusting will take place that the chemical reaction in rusting will take place and it will destroy most of the electronic components used on the mobile device so ensure you service your mobile device your logic board anytime the mobile device falls into water so everything has been tested and they are working perfectly so now let's complete our assembling this is the speaker so after you have brushed it let's complete our reassembling screw back the screws don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video give this video a thumbs up if this video is helpful if this video help you in your activity maybe at home or at work make sure you comment below ask a question if you have any question and i'll reply immediately and you can also join our online classes for a mentorship where you get in touch with me directly so the number showing on your screen you can use it to contact me so after you successfully screwed all the screws cover the mobile device now our phone is working perfectly now test everything on the mobile device the mouthpiece the speaker and everything so everything is working as you can see the wave sign moves so everything is working the speaker tested everything so don't forget to subscribe to this channel this is the good for you guys if you are new to this channel give this video a thumbs up subscribe to get updated anytime i upload a new video thank you very much till next time bye bye so thank you for watching this is the great phone repress please subscribe to my youtube channel for online classes and mentorship you can contact me on the number showing on your screen please don't forget to share this video in order to help and assist other engineers all around the world and also if this video is helpful let me know on the comment below and also like the video if it's helpful